if I could do something right now. Uh, maybe set up, walk more towards that way. We have finally traveled and are officially living in one of our dreams. The scenery, the feel, the woman, and the moment is all whatever I envisioned. This has been a moment I've dreamt of since I was young. And nothing makes this moment more perfect than being here next to you, Monica. <laughs> so right here it says my one and only my lifeline. It might be reversed, so if you guys can't see it, that's kind of bad. But look at that always and my one and only my life even though i already have our lifeline in game this this isn't the same thing this isn't the same like lifeline this is different i want to say thank you thank you for giving the younger me a chance thank you for growing with me and being available when god sent us across paths i appreciate the warmth and the love and feeling that your heart radiates to me we're 7,000 miles from home, but my soul and heart is at peace and comfort no matter how far we are. I will always stand by you. I always appreciate you and give you the most love I'll ever be capable of giving. I will shower you with gratefulness of your well-being, your presence till the day I take my last breath. I will have you on a lifetime pedestal and keep you thriving, glowing, and growing. I will have your best interests at heart and center. Most importantly, I will always love you, Monica. This scenery is what I needed. Something as beautiful as the love and perception I have for you. This is the stage God has given me. Consider this my first of two vows. And I'm grateful to stand next to you and blessed to walk beside you. I'm honored to know before you that I actually will you marry me. Okay guys, so Mr. Dante here had, um, he set up this uh, drone, right? And then he said he wants to have a speech and me being me, I'm just a stupid ass. <laughs> I, <laughs> I was just so excited to go into the water. So he's having a speech about how he's very thankful or how far we come and all this stuff and then he asked me to marry him and I'm so overwhelmed because I really really didn't expect it and I'm so excited <laughs> so if you see the video <laughs> of him asking and I seem like an asshole I just literally <laughs> didn't expect it because he said quote unquote the only time he will propose is if we travel to two separate countries and all this jazz but he lied to me and i honestly did not expect it pretty and so perfect oh <laughs> there i go getting emotional again so to all of you who knew you guys played it off really really fucking well man let me tell you guys it was a difficult journey and it was the most <laughs> difficult shit i've ever been through but i had to get it over with like oh my god it was difficult um the difficult is right here <laughs> it's not always easy in a relationship i'm gonna tell you this shit's stressful as fuck but fuck. so basically I just really wanted to get in the water. It's like fucking a bazillion degrees. And after we did a drum shot, I was just like, okay, like, can we go in the water now? It's fucking hot. And as you can see, I'm getting burnt. So <laughs> kind of difficult, I guess you can say, but we're engaged. We're finally engaged. It's been 12 years. 10. 12 years. It's been 10 years. <laughs> Oh, 
Tyon was my right hand, right man hand, right hand man right hand. in the operation. Mr. Mr. Crook, AKA my best man. Shout out to my groomsman one for watching the house while I'm away. Shout out to my bestie, best besties. Yeah. Yes, Chella. Yeah, thank you guys. Uh, specifically, Chella. Wouldn't be here without you, girl. Love you so, so much. Yeah, the support you given given. All, all this has been astounding. I appreciate you. You know what you did. It explains everything. Yeah. It explains it all. Okay, guys, we just got back from our adventure newly engaged mm -hmm. and i get to my hotel and look it is too cute up in here they have like this cute little decoration for us this cute cake oh where is it oh a cute cake it's just adorable we have just came back from um Nakhon beach and our hotel owner was so nice and kind to give us a glass of wine. We did our room and we're gonna pop this bottle of uh, Shandong. Shandong. <laughs> yeah. Very big thank you to the manager of Mansion Buena Vista. If you guys come to El Nido, check out this hotel. This owner is absolutely amazing. Him and his family and uh, workers here, absolutely amazing. Very great hospitality. They made us a cake, a congratulations cake. They put up banners, they put up balloons, they put up um, rose petals. It's actually very, very sweet. And you know, he's known for a long time, so I really thank him. Um, cheers to you now and I'm very honored to be here. Thank you so much.